That's why I love empty videos. I will, I will never give you up. Ever. Hey guys, it's Becca and this is Blanket Ford Adventures, my little channel on this corner of the internet. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a empties video, which personally I love watching empties videos. I think that the fact that the product is finished has this sense of satisfaction in it and that's why I like watching other people's. So since I liked watching other YouTubers empty videos, I decided to start collecting my own trash after finishing things and feeling that accomplished feeling of something being finished and done. Um, now I'm going to share with you my empties. So I have this little container that I've been keeping underneath my bed and I'm just going to get into my empties. Yay! Alright, so first thing is the Tea Tree Tingle body wash from Trader Joe's. It has peppermint, tea tree, eucalyptus. It's a really like refreshing and fresh scent and personally I am so sensitive to smells that they actually really affect my mood and this one just sets me up for a really good and fresh day. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's more of these in there because this is the only body wash that Bowerbird and I use. Alright, my second empty is the Mario Badescu Acne Facial Cleanser, which I personally really, really like. It, it's, first of all, it has a great scent. Second of all, it's not too stripping or drying on the skin. It's not totally cheap, but it's more cost effective than, say, other skincare lines. So, since I have older skin and really aggressive acne, I can't just get stuff from the drugstore, Clean and Clear, Neutrogena, all that kind of stuff, it doesn't work for me, so I knew that I had to step up my skincare game, and I've been reading a lot of stuff about Mario Badescu, so I finally purchased a bunch of their products. My whole system that I get, which is the cleanser, the drying lotion, and a actual facial moisturizer, comes out to be around uh, 60 bucks. So yeah, it's not cheap, but it actually lasts a pretty long time. I had this from... I want to say the beginning of October to the end of December. So that's a really long time for one facial cleanser and that's because I used a really small like dime size amount and it still worked. Now I'm sort of addicted to the smell so I've been using a lot more so I think I'm going to go through my next bottle a lot quicker but you can definitely make this last and it's just a really really good facial cleanser. So I highly recommend that. Um, this is a Tarte Amazonian Clay foundation and it works it's good I really like the coverage of this I feel like my skin can still breathe and it doesn't make me break out so I love this stuff so my next empty is a desert essence 100% pure Jehovah 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 or Jehovah Jehovah oil and this I go and I put on after I get out of the shower now let me warn you with this because it is moisturizing i do mix it with an essential oil which just kind of like makes it all vibrant when i get out of the shower but if you put it on and then immediately put on your clothes you can stain it like i've stained a few t-shirts i've stained a few things that i wish i hadn't because it is an oil and I don't know, this Desert Essence, I've been told that what it is, is it Jehovah Oil is similar to your own oils in your body, so it absorbs more, or absorbs easier into your body, so that's why I thought I could just throw on my clothes and it would be fine, but it's not, so just know that. I don't think I'm going to do this again, just because of the clothing situation. Have an ass big bottle of isopropyl alcohol. Um, I use this, and actually I got this idea from Leanne Says, but I use it to clean my makeup brushes, and eye makeup brushes and stuff. So I have a little spray bottle, and I put the alcohol in the spray bottle, and then I'll spray the brushes, or I'll spray a paper towel, and then I'll just uh, wipe down the brushes really quick. It helps to keep my brushes clean and sanitized between uses. So just a nice little bottle of alcohol. I have the Mario Badescu drying lotion. Uh, all used up. This was in one of my favorites. The next thing is the Matte Poreless Bit Me 
foundation, normal to oily. Um, it was good. I actually got two colors and mixed them together. They were pretty decent. I got the 112 and 120. Mixed them together. I liked them, but I really hated the, um, the packaging because you just like, I don't know, I feel like you can't get that much product out of it. And that's why I like the, um, Tarte Amazonian Clay, which I actually have another Tarte Amazonian Clay. That's why I actually like this better is because the packaging is like toothpaste style and I feel like I can just squeeze out every last ounce of it. Whereas this, I, I just feel that there's so much product in here that I still didn't get to use. So, the Fit Me's, they're good. They work. Um, the SW Basics Cleanser. Now, I got this right before I went on my Mario Badescu shopping spree. And I had bought a bunch of SW Basics products. I still have the exfoliator, I still, the exfoliation, I still have the makeup wipes, I have the toner, the apple cider toner. And this one I really liked because I really liked it. I loved its scent. It has, it, it's only three ingredients. It's rose water, vegetable glycerin, and tea tree oil. And it has a really, really nice uh, rose water scent and I love rose water and it just feels beautiful it feels delicate it feels Parisian it feels effortless it feels wonderful well it smells like all those feelings and it is not for someone that wears makeup I think this line, the SW Basics line, is great for preteens. I think it's great for teenagers. I think it's great for anyone who does not wear full coverage makeup because there's just not enough product there. Um, all the science is totally legit. I completely believe in it. I think the makeup remover does remove makeup, but if you have full face, it's going to take a lot of that oil to get through to your makeup. I think this does clean your skin, but it's going to take so much to make sure you're really getting deep into your pores. I think the toner kills bacteria, but it doesn't kill acne bacteria. I'll tell you that one right now. So SW Basics is a great line. I believe in this line. I do not believe in it for me. Here is the Burt's Bees Naturally Nourishing lotion, which I love. It's a milk. Yeah, I love it so much that I seriously, like, I try to get as much out of there as, as humanly possible. Um, and it has a milk and honey smell that's really fresh. It's not sour. I don't know about you guys, but I feel that sometimes scents sour. And especially cheaper scents, they, they go in this, like, sour, they turn sour and it just reminds me of like stickiness or kind of like a garbage pail or dump dumpster or something. So that's why I'm so particular. <laughs> but the Burt's Bees uh, moisturizer, it's really good. It's not the best moisturizer I've ever had. The First Aid, First Aid Beauty moisturizer is probably the best I've ever had because I do have eczema on my elbows. But for just general hydration of my epidermis, it works. I like it. Empty is a makeup. It's the Scandalize Rimmel Mascara. This is my mascara of life. It's the only one I use now. It has a... I don't know. That's kind of what the wand looks like. It's kind of got like this like double curve thing going on. And I got my first Scandalize in a Influencer box. Rimmel, you have my money. You have my loyalty for life. I will never purchase to purchase another mascara. I have no desire to try other mascaras because my entire makeup life, I've done different mascaras and I didn't like, well, nothing made an impression. For me, mascara was mascara. There was nothing. No big surprise, no big to do. You just put it on and then you live your life. But this changed my life. It gives me those big 60s twiggy lashes that I love 
without wearing false lashes because I've never done false lashes. I don't think I ever will because I got the specs, the spectacles, and it just, I will never go there. But because I have the, the glasses, mascara just really, I don't know, I could never just get a mascara that would make my eyes pop. And this one, I, I just love it. It just makes me feel makes me feel like the lashes that I need in my life. And got two bottles of Listerine. Uh, Barbara and I, we like the, what flavor is it? It's the blue flavor, it's the turquoise flavor. Ultra clean with ever fresh technology. I need to get some more Listerine. It's perfect, I'm doing an empties video on a day. I need to go shop for beauty stuff. And lastly, I have the Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel toner. It is, actually it was a recommendation from a friend who has beautiful skin and she told me that she, I don't even know how we got on the topic of it, but she told me that she takes this and she puts it in a little spray bottle and she spritzes her face uh, when she gets out of the shower and then she also uses it to refresh her makeup. Now she has super perfect skin. I don't even know if she wears makeup. Uh, she could be lying to me, but... <laughs> Because I've tried to use it to kind of like refresh my makeup and it doesn't, I don't know what it does, so. But I do need to like experiment with setting sprays and finishing sprays and the such. So, anyways, I did get this to use when I get out of the shower and I put it on my face and then I put on my moisturizer. And I actually have seen a difference in my skin since I started doing that. I feel that my skin before was just a little bit dull and now ever since doing it, it really kind of enhances the moisturizer or it really just makes my skin a little bit brighter and I absolutely love it. So actually at the moment I'm mixing the SW Basics Rose Water with this Lavender Witch Hazel in the little spray bottle and I just spritz it on when I get out of the shower, put on my moisturizer and then go on and do my makeup. It's really simple. I have no idea if it's actually doing anything what it's scientifically supposed to be doing. But personally, I enjoy it and it just, I feel it makes a difference on my skin. So that's it for my empties, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in my next video. Please like and subscribe. It's super encouraging and I really am going to be upping this YouTube game. And if you even have suggestions for videos, leave it down below. I will read them. But okay, so I will talk to you later. I've been rambling. Don't know how to close this stuff out properly yet, but I'm getting there. All right, bye everyone. I swear, there's gonna be like three different versions of lighting in this video because it's a cloudy day and the sun's inconsistent and look at, I'm being brightened up right now. Thank you.